Hai students, apa khabar? Ada sihat? Ok, sudah lama kita dah jumpa, kita akan jumpa kembali lagi Baik, uh, hari ni cikgu nak touch untuk you punya topik yang disebut sebagai straight line Or we call them as a, a garis lurus, boleh ya? Eh? Garis lurus punya topik ataupun straight line Ok, sekarang hari ni cikgu, how to do this question? Very simple, yang pertama sekali, what we must know We already know that dia sudah cakap menunjukkan dua garis lurus selari Ataupun shows two parallel line When they say about parallel line Bila soalan cakap garisan parallel Automatic kita kena faham Itu adalah garisan yang selari Ataupun kita panggil The gradient will be same Bila soalan kata garis lurus Ataupun garis apa selari Gradient automatic kita panggil gradient ni same Ataupun kecerunan yang sama Okay now Soalan pertama Soalan cakap Cari nilai K Find the value of K But now Look at this class Whenever you want to do Always try to write the coordinate Dekat sini kita boleh tulis coordinate dia sebagai 0 And then apa? 4 Are you okay? So soalan ni cikgu dah lukis dekat sini Let me do it here Okay look at this Bila cikgu kita tulis coordinate The coordinate dekat sini We will call them as a 0 4 How you know 0? Dekat sini 0 0 and then 4 Are you okay? Right sekarang soalan cakap cari nilai K Ok we got two We got two methods to do One we are using the formula of the gradient or equation Hari ni cikgu akan guna untuk you punya gradient Ok first if you want to find the gradient How to find the gradient Find the M Ok kita boleh guna formula yang ringkas iaitu Negative Y intercept Over X intercept Selalu kita guna Y2 minus Y1 Over X2 minus X1 pun boleh Ini pun boleh Okay right Sir What happened to my Y intercept Look at this ah. Huh? M equal to negative Y intercept Y intercept cikgu berapa? 4 So we write that 4 Over X intercept What is my X intercept? 2 So we going to write that Two. So bila kita kecikkan When we simplify We will get negative 2 So my gradient is negative 2 Are you okay? Right Sekarang cikgu If I want to find my gradient ah, I already find my gradient Bila kita guna coordinate ini dengan ini We can get the gradient We use this and this also We can get the gradient Okay contoh cikgu tulis balik ini ya. Ah. Okay now what I'm going to do Cikgu nak guna coordinate B Dengan coordinate ini To find my gradient So let me use another formula here Gradient punya original formula M equals to Y2 minus Y1 Over X2 minus X1 Ada formula ni Ok now Now look at this Sir what I can do now Here we will call them as a X coordinate Ini kita panggil Y coordinate Ini pun kita panggil X coordinate Ini kita panggil sebagai Y coordinate Now I got X ma Okay, no problem. Kalau cikgu jadikan ini 2, ini pun must be 2. This one will be representing 1 and 1. So now, look at this. What is my y2 value? My y2 value is k. Minus y1 value is what? 4. Over x2. x2 is 3. Minus 0. But here come back to again. What is my gradient? My gradient tadi cikgu suruh cari ma. So my gradient here is negative 2 Cikgu ganti balik sini So now negative 2 Equals to K minus 4 is a K minus 4 Are you okay? Then now what happened? 3 minus 0 Whenever kita buat 3 minus 0 We will get back what? 3 So sekarang kita mau cari K So the K, the 3 I throw to the left hand side We become times So 3 times negative 2 Kita akan dapat negative 6 equals to K minus 4 4. Are you okay? Right, sekarang kita mau cari K How sir? The negative 4 I throw to the left hand side Become what? Negative 6 plus 4 equals to K So I will get negative 2 equals to my K So my K value equals to what? Negative 2 Settle Clear? Once you already find out the K value We already Kita sudah selesaikan soalan Soalan dia cakap apa kelas? K value My K value equals to what? Negative 2 This is the answer Okay Now Kita nak buat equation of CD 
Bila kita nak buat equation of CD, automatic we must know that Y equals to MX plus C. This is the equation. We need the mother. Mother tu dikenali sebagai kecerunan. The Y intercept ataupun kita panggil child. So now we already know the mother is same for dua-dua garisan. Yes or no? Tadi kita sudah cari the mother name is negative to. The gradient is negative to. When the gradient is negative to, sini pun automatic negative to. Okay, let me do it here. Sir, just now we find the gradient for this line is negative to. So ini pun automatic, the gradient is negative to. Okay? Now, let me do the uh, B question. The B, solat B, dia cakap apa kelas? Find the Find the equation. Yes or no? Okay, let me do it here. The B question. Okay, B. Soalan B. Eh? Kita sudah tahu Y equals to MX plus C. Y equals to MX plus C. We already know that untuk soalan ni, the mother is negative 2. How we know negative 2? Tadi kita sudah cari. So, I can rewrite the equation. Cikgu boleh tulis equation itu dengan cantik. Macam mana kita tulis equation dia? Y equals to negative 2 X tambah apa? C. Cikgu, is it complete? No. Ini tak complete because kita tak tahu lagi C. If I want to find my C, kalau cikgu nak cari pintasan Y, I need my Y value dengan X value. Macam mana cikgu? Okay, here you go back to the question. You can see here. Sini sudah bagi. Ini garisan right. So, ini X, ini apa? Y. So, my X value will be 4. My Y value will be 6. So, my Y value will be 6. My X value will be 4. So, when we write this nicely, we can solve the opening equation. How, sir? So, 6 equals to negative 1. Okay, 6 equals to negative 8 plus C. We want to find the C. So, the negative 8, I throw there, become positive. So, 6 plus 8 equals to what? C. So, 6 plus 8, you already know that the answer will be what? 14. So, my C value equals to what? 14. Boleh? So, bila kita sudah cari the C value is 14, we substitute back to the equation and make sure it's got a very completed equation. Equation. So, macam mana? We're going to write back the answer. Okay, we're going to write back the answer. Y equals to... Negative 2x plus 14. This is the answer for B. Are you okay? Then, again, come back to the C. Solan cakap, find the y-intercept. Y-intercept of CD, yes or no? You must understand that x-intercept means the y-value equals to 0. Kalau Solan cakap y-intercept, your x-value will be 0. So, in this case... Kita nak cari Y intercept, yes or no? Y intercept mean X value will be 0. So, CD right, yes or no? Kita kan sudah tahu, Y intercept is known as my what? 14. Or we can do back here. Macam mana? If you want to do back, kita sudah tahu tapi cikgu mau buktikan. Soalan tanya X intercept. X intercept means Y value is 0. If the question asks you Y intercept means X value equals to 0, yes or no? For this question C... Soalan kita tanya Y intercept. If Y intercept, we already know X value equals to what? Zero. Yes or no? So, kalau kita guna balik equation dia, Y equals to negative 2 X plus 14. My X value now is zero. So, if I substitute here, zero value, cikgu akan dapat Y equals to 14. But how to write the answer? Y intercept is... 14. Dalam bahasa Melayu, pintasan Y ialah 14. Are you okay? So, right. Cikgu dah habiskan soalan ni. Okay. Cikgu sudah bagi dia punya jalan kerja. So, kita akan jumpa untuk soalan seterusnya in the next video. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.